What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is back, and we're in post-vacation effect. It's true, kids. I'm back from my vacation in Hawaii. It's always the roughest time when you come right back from a vacation and you have to get back in the swing of things. And even more so when you come from a really warm place and have a really great time and you come back to a snowy cold place where things just aren't as awesome. No offense this place, but you're not vacation in Hawaii. Another thing that really sucks is like when you're jet lagged. Hawaii time is five hours behind the time I'm in right now. But I never got used to Hawaii time until I came back home. In Hawaii, I was all like, oh man, I'm tired. It's like seven o'clock, why am I so tired? Because it's midnight at home. But then when I get home, it's like midnight and I'm like, woohoo, I'm wide awake. That sucks. And I know real life has to happen. That's real life. But when you're faced with the immediacy of it, it's always so draining and you wonder like, how am I gonna go to work every day again? How is this gonna happen? How did I ever do this before? People do this? I did this? Really? Why would you do this? I just wanna say Hawaii was an awesome time. And you're going to see Corduroy Paco's Hawaiian adventure coming soon. Well see, I hadn't been on a vacation in a long time. Like a really long time. And I'd forgotten what it's like to actually get out there, just have fun for a whole bunch of days. And the thing about Hawaii is, everybody there is completely laid back. The people there seem genuinely happy. They smile at you and it's not the, hmm, I'm smiling at you because I think the cameras are watching and if we don't smile, we get docked pay. It's like they actually give a crap about you, which is a weird concept coming from a city like Toronto where no one gives a crap about you. People on the roads are conscious of you just so you don't smash into them. If they smash into you, it was your fault for being there. And the other thing they're saying is like, people don't use their horns in Maui because it's rude. Isn't that awesome? Do you know that in Hawaiian, there isn't a word for time? They say if you see your friend on the side of the road, you can stop your car and talk to him and back up traffic and no one's gonna honk at you because no one cares. You know, around here, it's like, what the hell are you doing, you dickhead? I'm 10 minutes late for being five minutes late. It put a lot of things into perspective for me and it really did mellow me out. The hardest part is trying to maintain that idea in the real world. So on that, I'd like to welcome you all back to the 2012 editions of Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. I expect big things to happen this year. Hope you stick around and check them out. And just because I know you're on the edge of your seats for Corduroy Paco's Hawaiian adventure, here's a little taste of what you'll see. So carpoolers, we are in a dire, stressful blast to the airport. Please, cross your fingers for us, because this is the final mad dash to get back to Oahu, or else we're going to have to sleep at the airport. As always, cool cats, you can do me a few favors if you don't mind. You can like this video, you can subscribe to this video, you can check me out on the Twitter, and you can check out the Facebook group. The link is down in the squawk box. Tell your friends, get them on board. And as always, remember, check your mirrors.